Good morning and welcome or welcome back to the channel. We are currently in Cape Verde. If you would have seen the last video, we were prepping, we were packing, we were traveling and we have obviously landed. We've been here for a few days now actually. This is our, what day is it? Saturday. When's, it's our fourth full day. Yeah, fourth full day. But I thought we're here for like 11 days. So let's just chill out and just take in the first couple of days um i'll take you through in a second like what we've been doing but this is my current view that i just feel like we need to start the vlog off with so look at the beautiful ocean today and the beach we're not actually going to be going down to the pool today we are going let me turn you around we're going to go on a boat trip these are my favorite types of excursions. Whenever we like go away, I always make sure that we try and book a boat trip. We had a bit of a nightmare this morning though, because I looked, we got up early because I wanted to go for my run. I'm doing my couch to 5K. I am on just finished week three. So that was my last one of week three today. And so we got up really early to do that. And then when I looked on the app, it said that the booking was canceled. And you know, you just get that feeling where you're just like, <sighs> like, I was so devastated. And I was like, babe, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, but it's cancelled. So then we tried to phone Tui because we booked it through Tui and um, couldn't find anyone because it was really early in the morning. It was like 7 a.m. So, yeah, I mean, we basically just had to come to terms with the fact that it was cancelled. But we were running along the beach this morning and we found one of the guys who was also selling excursions. And we do actually like to book it with like locally instead of going through Tui. One, it actually is cheaper, and two, it's actually putting money like in the local people's pockets, if you know what I mean. Like, instead of going through TUI, um, we are, obviously they must get paid through TUI as well, but at least we're going direct to someone that's helping someone out, right? So we quite like to do that anyway. So yeah, we found a guy on the beach and he managed to get us in for the afternoon slot. So it's currently about 12.30, just got ourselves ready. We're heading off to the beach. We're, to the beach? To the boat, to the boat. The catamaran trip is on the cards for today. So just get on ourselves ready to go and pack in our bags etc wade's there with one sock on and one sock off i'm like do i wear a sock or do i just pack it in the bag for when i do need the socks i mean you like to travel in your socks so i do like to travel in my socks you can travel in your socks and then take them off when we get to the boat yeah. so yeah just getting ourselves all packed up ready to go i do think this lip balm's a bit dark actually i think I think you've just got to rub it in a little bit more. Yeah. I, right. I um, got one of those sun blister things on my lips. So went to the pharmacy today to try and get like an SPF lip balm. But all they had was this coloured one, which is a bit dark. But let's try and rub off a little bit of it. Um, but first few days that we've been here. So what do we do? Um, you know, I can't even remember now on the first few days. I'm trying to think. We I'll pop in some clips. But like we just had a bit of a... Wander around, went to the town. It's gone white party. We went to the white party yesterday. Well, no, actually, on Thursday, we went to our favorite restaurant, Ota de Agua, um, which is the dinner we had before we got engaged last year, so that we wanted to go back there and we do love that restaurant. So we went there on Thursday night, had a very, very strong double rum and coke, and I think that just set the night off because then we went out drunk far too much and i felt a bit terrible yesterday so that's why i didn't pick up the camera and then it was a white party last night so we went had a few good vibes but we wanted to have an early night have a nice hot chocolate and stuff so came back quite early um, and i also wanted to feel fresh for today's boat trip that was supposed to be in the morning but obviously now I wanna, I wanna it's in the afternoon drink a hot chocolate that i could remember <laughs> yeah because the first night we went and got a hot chocolate from the sports bar late at night and I was like, really blacked out because he doesn't remember any of it perfect but we went to the town this morning and just picked up a few bits and then to go to the pharmacy. I needed a face wash because I had to throw my face wash away at the airport, which was not ideal. But, all right, let's pack up the rest of our stuff. Let me show you what I thought to wear today for the boat trip. Um, it's just this little knitted number that's got the back out. And then I'm wearing my Adnola bikini underneath. It's like one of my favorite bikinis to wear. And then I've just got my Ugg sandals on. Um, but I'm just packing up our big tote bag with, I've got my sun visor, my big Stanley cup towels, got a book in there, mosquito spray, sun cream, all that jazz. And then I'm also taking my little black bag for all the critical items, camera, batteries, GoPro, phone can go in there, my beats are in there. 
And that's it. So, we ready to go? I don't know if you can see me because I can't actually see myself in the viewfinder because it is so bright out today. But good morning. Um, what day is it today? It's Monday. So we've got another six days or so to go. Um, I've actually not been feeling the best. I didn't feel that great yesterday. So um, we chilled most of the day by the pool, which was actually really nice. I have read the entire book of, um, what did I break? The Housemaid. It's so good. Like, I'm so happy that I got fully influenced by Megan's video watching that because I then went and bought it and I also bought number two, which I'm so happy about because I finished the whole thing yesterday just sitting on the lounger. So it was really nice just to chill, make myself feel a bit better. I feel like I was just getting beat up on this holiday. Like, I had a lip blister, I had, like, my toe was hurting from my flip-flop because it, like, cut into me. I just wasn't feeling the best, I felt a bit sick. And yeah, so I just needed yesterday just to like get myself back to a good place. And I did, because I feel a lot, a lot better today. We did, um, we went out last night to the town. Um, we went to Santa Maria. It's really nice here because you can just walk along. It's like, it's only really like one main strip, which is like near the beach, which is actually near Ocho de Agua, which is obviously the restaurant that we love. But there's a strip just like alongside it, which you can walk along, go into the shops and like sit down with the locals, have beers and um, listen to some live music. So that was lovely last night. And then when we came back, we watched a bit of the entertainment in the main sort of wee palace bit. Um, but we wasn't out for too long, so we just watched a little bit of the entertainment and then we got our hot chocolates and a little bit of cake and then we came up to the hotel and had a really nice early night. We found a HDMI cable yesterday when we was in the town, so we managed to um, watch a film to put the laptop onto the TV and then we put Netflix on, so we watched Murder Mystery last night with Adam Sandler, um, so that was nice, and then yeah, just had a nice early night. So I got myself up ready today, I'm feeling so much better today, which I'm want to really make the most of because I was getting a bit worried where I don't know it was my own head like my own anxiety I was like you're in another country and it was just it was worsening like the whole thing of it so I woke up this morning feeling a lot better got myself ready in the shower I just um my hair's a bit greasy so I just put it in a ponytail and put this little cute white bow on it um because I don't want to sit by the pool today I actually want to go out and explore a little bit so just said to wait, like, get ready, let's get in the shower, let's put some clothes on, let's go down to this other beach, which is by a different resort. Um, I just know it as Bob Marley Reggae Beach Bar, because there's like, a beach bar there which has Bob Marley's face all over it, so that's how I know it. So we're gonna go there, we're gonna go down there, and then maybe like rent a bike, do a bit of exploring, um, book maybe one or two more excursions. So yeah, I thought it would be a nice day and I just want to make the most of it while I feel like so much better.
his hat. Take control of this one. What are we doing today? We actually we're going bike riding. We're gonna go bike riding and then we're gonna explore. We're going to the pier of Santa Maria. We're gonna go book some excursions. Excuse the noise. <laughs> oh, we've been there as well. That's the eye. Remember? Yeah, the blue eye, yeah. 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 And Burakot, now we went there. Yeah. Oh, Mira. I think we've been there too. I think we've been everywhere. Really? Well, the island tour takes us. Yeah. Place. Oh, do I want to get sand in my shorts? <laughs> I took us to completely the wrong place. I said, let's go to Ponta Feta, which was and 20 minutes down the road. Perfect. We've gone to the middle of nowhere. <laughs> in the middle of the desert. This is in the desert with this one. But then when I said Bob Marley, he was like, oh, Bob Marley, Bob Marley. Why didn't you say? <laughs> there is Bob Marley. It's basically just a, a little beach bar that has Bob Marley space all over it. But it has got cute little chairs and stuff. But this is another beach. Yeah, bike rental. Yeah. Yeah. It's a half day, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a half day. It's a couple of hours, isn't it? Free, isn't it? Yeah, I don't, I'm not going to be on it too long. <laughs> I don't even... Um, and I'd, oh, I've not got ID. I don't even cycle. Deposit 50 euro or ID card per bike. You'd have to deposit. Oh, I've got... No, that's like 5,000 scooters. 50 euros. Yeah, but deposit. I was thinking just give me my bank card. Oh, yeah. Would you? No. <laughs> Not sure about giving him my bank card. <laughs> Might never see him again. Freeze my card, give him my bank card. I mean, do I have anything else to give him? Nothing that he's gonna want. Fucking like, oh yeah, like perfect, amazing. We can ask him where the nearest um, cash point is. that they put the stuff in a waterproof bag. So we've come down, we went to the other place and the electric bikes and they said that we're by Santa Maria so we've come down to Santa Maria Pier did a bit of a walk around there is loads of people selling like excursions and things so we've booked the island tour for tomorrow and then I also want to book the jet skis and the buggies but we said that we might go to the guy that's near our hotel on the beach there instead of booking it here but we'll see see what the prices are like but we're just having a drink we've booked the electric bikes but it's not until it's not available until two o'clock so we're just gonna sit by the beach and wait till then we bought a little packed lunch of croissants and things from the hotel so we'll eat those i'm having my first aperol spritz of the holiday but it is too long ago it's like the size of my head that's nice. not as strong as your one yeah this one's about where he's got a strawberry daiquiri. Very strong. But it's literally just like strawberries and alcohol. It's organic strawberries. Grown here. Do you know it's or organic strawberries? Or in Gabriel. It could have come from anywhere. Mm, they, they have um, Yeah, they import from Africa. They got transportation between Senegal and Gambia. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
So technically, if we can't come anywhere in Africa, better transport to the end. Yeah. To come over. Yeah. But, yeah, very good footage. This is where we came last year when we went um, diving. Not diving, snorkeling. Yeah. We, we came off the pier and they took us out there, yeah. yeah. So, where we saw the turtles, yeah. Although I didn't see any because I had a life jacket on and I was bobbing about the water so I couldn't actually deep like dive down where I was ready to go under and see the turtles underneath. So. Yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't swim very well. I can swim better now. It's going to be a practice. Done my lesson. Yeah. We didn't do a swim, that, we didn't do a swim this morning. No. We can't do it tomorrow either. No, we've got thingy. The yeah. island tour. Tomorrow's got a, um, tomorrow you're going to swim anyway. In the Salt Lake? No, no, there's the waterfall. The warm, warm waterfall. We, we couldn't get in it last time because it was too um, red flag. Hopefully it'll be all right. Yeah, we couldn't actually get in the water last time. But we've got what? that. No, we left we've, got, um, we've got the shark. Yeah, the, the shark. shark. We've got the Salt Lake. We've got. Um, we're going to see the locals in Espargos mm-hmm. as well. Which is, I think it's always important to sort of see how they live, um, just understand it. Obviously, this is where we are at the moment, very touristy. Um, but yeah, I think last year we went to Espargos, but we've done it in a. In a very spontaneous moment, we um, but we met some of the locals anyway, and it was like, yeah, what's a great place to go? And I was like, yeah, yeah, this uh, nightclub in Aspargos. <laughs> so obviously we was like, yeah, let's go and get lit. Perfect. Got our thoughts ready. We went down to get a cab, got the cab there. We started to double think our actions when we went past the airport. Um, but yeah, we got there anyway. We didn't go in. Let's put it that way. It was... It looked a bit scary. It looked like a 90s American underground rave. It just looked like we shouldn't be there. Yeah. Like, it was for the locals. It and I feel like right. they wouldn't want us there. Anyways, like they have, I was saying that they have to, like, be nice to us all day while they're working. So when they go home and go out in their own environment, they don't want to, like, be with the tourists. Yeah, it's open to speculation, but... I wouldn't. If I had to work for the tourists all day, I'd want to just go to my house, mm. go out with my friends. And that's it, innit? Yeah. You don't really want to see the same people you see all day. Don't have to like all day, all day yeah. So. But I think that's just us being courteous to... I feel like there's things falling on me. We've had a little bit of a screw in the bars, but... but... Yeah, we'll just sit here, wait until 2 o'clock. No. We get our electric bike. Can I have one? It's sweet. Thank you. It's got like a jam on it or something. A jam? A whole glaze. Sweet bread. Yeah, shiny. Jam. And it's quite neat as well, it's quite fresh. Let's have a look at it. I guess when you get to places like this, they do think outside of the box of how to make things and, you yeah. know. We've got some chips as well. I've not ridden a bike since I was like she was a, little, a teenager. Um, she was a little rusty, but she's getting there. I am rusty, but it is light riding.
went to the pool for a little bit when we got back. We thought we'd just get the last bit of the sun, read a few chapters of my book. Then it started to get a bit chilly and windy, so we've come up. Dinner's not until 8.30, because we're eating in the Japanese restaurant tonight, which is one of the restaurants in the hotel. We've not eaten there before, actually, because last year we never got into the Japanese one, so thought we'd give it a go this year. Um, so that's at 8.30, so usual afternoon tradition. Plate of chips. Iced coffee. Yep. And then we'll put something on the TV. I picked up a few bits while I was out early. I got this little hat with shells on it, which I thought was very cute. Um, I also got some Havana sandals, where are they? Because my flip-flops, I said they cut my toe, so they're the brand new ones, but so I just got these slider, slidery ones, and they are super comfy. I just wore them down to the pool. And then I also got a little shawl thing because it does um because it does get quite chilly in the evenings with the wind so i thought i could have that because i've basically been wearing a white hoodie for the last few days because it's the only thing that i bought i thought that i bought one of those like poncho things and i remember talking about it actually when i was packing but somehow it didn't make it into my bag because i could not find it so i've been wearing the white hoodie for the last few days so i thought get a little shawl and then maybe if i wear a white dress tonight then i can wear that because obviously it's orange you can't wear that every color but what should we put on, babe? Uh, I'm just gonna put the TV on and see what's see going on. See if CSI's yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. They've got some CSI Super Marathon that keeps coming on. We go between Vegas, New York, Miami. I never actually watched CSI, but I've been actually getting quite good into it while we've been here. Oh, HDMI's there. Wade brought his work laptop, so when he comes upstairs, he does a little bit of work. I did not bring such thing. No work for me. Alright, we are ready for dinner. I think I said earlier I was going to go to the Japanese restaurant, but we had a quick look on the menu and there wasn't really anything that we thought, oh yeah, we're going to have that. And then was like, alright, let's just cancel Japanese. So cancelled that. And then was like, then we can go to the main restaurant, which is like a buffet restaurant. But then I was like, maybe we should just go back to our favourite one, Ojidagwa. So we booked there and we're going there tonight. They said that they might not be able to get us a room, a room, you know, a table by the ocean where we normally sit, but we saw, we still love it there. So even if we have to sit like just slightly in from the ocean, then it should still be okay. So just got ourselves ready. We're about to head out in a second. This is what I'm wearing tonight. So I just wanted to wear this little black dress that I got from zara ages ago it's quite figure hugging and then i got this little shawl thing from the can't think today from the market earlier that we went to in santa maria and um, picked up this little shawl and then also these havana sandals as well so that's what i'm wearing and then i also got this shell anklet from one of the guys on the beach as well so thought I'd wear that. I think for my bag, mind the mess in the room, I'm just going to take this little raffia one that I got from June a couple of years ago, but I always bring it out with me on holiday because I find it just so handy. So that is the outfit. Oh, I also washed and straightened my hair because as the humidity might mean that it does not last this long, but because we're going on the island tour tomorrow, I thought it would be easier if I straightened my hair tonight because I can just put it in like a nice ponytail or something in the morning and it's not that big mess that it was earlier. It is 10 p.m. and we're back in the room. I was getting a bit tired at dinner, but dinner was very, very nice. Apart from the ending where Wade paid and then as we was leaving, the man comes running out after us to basically say that we overpaid and he added an extra zero. So 
what we thought was like a 50 pound dinner was actually like a 500 pound dinner by accident but we didn't realize because of the exchange rate it's like one euro to 110 what's it called a scudos which is the cape verdean currency and it's like because it's like one to 110 a lot of the time you're paying in like thousands so like a thousand in scudos or two thousand in scudos and Wade didn't realise that it said 76,000 mosquitoes for dinner. So the man, luckily the man did run out because we would have got back to the hotel, would have checked the bank, would have like checked the bank balance and it would have been like, what the hell just happened? Um, so the man came running out and said like, well, yeah, we've been overcharged. So we had to go back in and he had to put the money back on the card, but it's not back on there yet. Um, so hopefully by tomorrow it would have sorted itself out. Otherwise we're going to have to go back down to Oji de Agua to say... Well, what's going on? What do we do now? But um, they refunded the amount and then we started to obviously like pay for dinner, like the yeah, actual amount. So at the moment, that dinner was very, very, the most probably expensive dinner I've ever eaten in my whole entire life. Um, but hopefully by tomorrow it's all sorted out. But you know, it gives you that feeling of like, I don't know, just makes you feel a bit, a bit uneasy when your money's like been spent somewhere where it shouldn't be spent and then you have to sit there waiting for a refund. Because hopefully it's tomorrow. Hopefully it's 24 hours. Although the lady behind the desk did phone up the visa people, she said. And they have confirmed that it's on its way back to us. So hopefully by tomorrow it'll all be sorted out. But apart from that, dinner was lovely. We had um, I had the same as I had the other day, the filet mignon. And then I, we also had a chocolate cake and ice cream. I started off this holiday very good, only eating like good food. And I have had a few treats along the way but it is holiday so saying that you can see my massive hot chocolate sitting next to me that we just grabbed from downstairs we did have a think about if we should go and like watch the entertainment but they've got a rock band on tonight which wasn't really our vibe and we also obviously got the hdmi cable so we're going to put a film on probably spy melissa mccarthy a little bit of melissa and um what's his name Jason, Jason Bateman. No, he's an identity thief. Spy is Jason Statham. Statham, Statham, Statham. Are we watching Spy or Identity Thief? Um, you can decide, baby ladies. No, I'm happy with either. And then put one on. Let's go. What one do you want? Um, the increase. I'm tidying. So if you want to do that while I'm One of those we'll watch. But I'm in my pyjamas. I got these pyjamas from um, Boo Avenue before we came out. So that's quite cute. But like a candy striper. So I'm in my pyjamas. I'm going to take my makeup off in a second. Have my hot chocolate. Choose between Spy and Identity Thief. And then tomorrow we're doing the island tour. So um, I will see you in the morning. <laughs> 